Hi everyone, I'm any New Province, and this week we're playing Scred Delver for Net Benefits, the series where we explore the benefits of net decking in Popper. It's been a very long time since we've played Scred Delver on the channel because there's been some changes to my favorite Popper archetype, and because it's recently resurged, I figured it was time to try to go for another 5 0 with the deck. Before I get into the deck tech, I just want to remind you that you can like the video or subscribe to the channel down below. I'd seriously appreciate it. It's a great way to let me know you've enjoyed everything, and it really encourages me to to keep making great popper content. All right, let's have a look at Scred Delver. Delver of Secrets is the key threat of any self-proclaimed Delver deck. That's because this creature serves as the single best threat in the format. Most insectile aberrations come along with a frock of fairies as well. Fairy Miscreant is its first winged friend, and when it brings along extra copies of itself, it can be a vertible source of card advantage. Spell Stutter Sprite is next, and it attacks, protects, but most of all, counters any and all of your opponent's important early game spells. A lot of games will involve getting a Delver flipped in the early turns to provide instant pressure. If you can do this before your opponent can set up, you can be ready with a spell stutter over the next couple of turns to protect your aberration. Delver's cantrip and card advantage package are as strong as its creatures. Ninja of the Deep Hours is the key piece of this package and allows you to reset your fairies while increasing the clock and drawing you extra cards. Augur of Bolas is next it replaces itself, blocks aggressive creatures really well, and can reset by Ninja of the Deep Hours for huge turns. Our non-creature card advantage starts with Gush. This spell is a free divination, a ritual, and a way to keep enough cards in your hand to have your opponent guessing what you may have. Finally, Brainstorm is our pseudo-ancestral when it can be reset by one of our fetches, or a ponder while a playset of preordains keeps the cards flowing in the right order. Our Mid-game will involve a lot of tempo play. We'll be running out cantrips and gushes each turn to continue hitting land drops while attacking in with our evasive threats. Our next package, Scred's Revered Interaction, will take care of anything our opponent can sneak through our spell stutters. Scred is a card that sets this Delver deck apart. It's a removal spell that has no trouble taking care of a resolved Gurmog Angler all on its own. Counterspell is our other key non-creature interaction spell because it can answer even more than the already versatile Scred. Most Scred Delver decks would pack the full four lightning bolts because they serve as removal and burn. These new iterations, however, carry only two and opt to include Fire Ice as a new way of efficiently answering the board. Harvest Pyre is our final non-land card and does a great job of killing huge creatures when our Snowlands haven't found their way onto the battlefield yet. Delver is great at controlling the board if the game is going long, meaning usually our opponents will be at a low life total due to our evasive beaters. If they can block our fairies or fog us, it's okay. Our burn will take care of the rest of our opponent's life total before they can stop us. Alright, let's have a look at this mana base. First, we have four Evolving Wilds, one Terramorphic Expanse, and two Ash Barons. Lots of fetch lands to reset the top of our Brainstorm deck while also finding our second blue or our first red mana on time. For basics, we have just two Snow-Covered Mountains and nine Snow-Covered Islands. We want way more untapped blue mana for our Delvers and Cantrips, and we've got enough fetches to find those mountains when it's time. Alright, let's have a look at this powerful Is It side board. First, we have one copy of Dispel as a more efficient counterspell when we need it. We have two copies of Electricery as Wraths against X1s. We have three copies of Hydroblast for stopping all of those red spells. We have four copies of Pyroblast for stopping all of those blue spells. We have one copy of Echoing Truth for sweeping up a bunch of elf tokens. Two copies of Stormbound Geist for things that can block Delvers but also prove great threats and control matchups. We also have two swirling sandstorms for sweeping the board if it gets too big and too wide. And there you have it, the new version of Scred Delver that took Be Reborn to a top 8 finish in the Popper Challenge last weekend. We're going to take this deck into a league at twitch.tv slash any new province this Wednesday night at 7pm Atlantic time. We're there every Wednesday night playing competitive 
bopper decks. Before I go, I just want to remind you that you can like the video or subscribe to the channel down below. I'd seriously appreciate it. It's a great way to let me know you've enjoyed everything, and it really encourages me to keep making great popper content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this deck tech, and hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday night.